Please adjust your volume until you can hear whispering. That's the first thing we get when we open the game. Ghost whispers. Ah! That just gave me a heart attack. This game contains jump scares. Yeah, I think we figured that out. Donald's feet gave out from under him. Knees on the floor is your new style, huh? This game has another thing coming. If it thinks I'm just gonna shine its shoes like that, it can suck my salami before that happens. Well, would you look at this? I was joking when I asked if there was a battle royale for this franchise. Lesson learned, don't ever mess with Scott. Gentlemen, if not obvious, welcome to Ultimate Custom Night. As given with the name, this is the game where you can customize any animatronic difficulty. I guess we know what Don's doing for the next 20 years. Trial verdict pending, by the way. If not obvious, there's way too many customizable options to try to tackle every single one. Not only that, this game has nothing really valuable when it comes to additional story. As such, I've assembled a small list of challenges that we can face. Challenges? They're the assembled difficulties that the creator has made for a default difficulty. As you can see, there's still quite a few challenges, so that's why I've handpicked what we're going to do. No need to fear, the world's best security guard is here. That's wonderful news because we're starting with Bears Attack 3. And of course, I get a circus act to start with. Don't leave behind any picnic baskets. What am I looking at? This office looks like a mess. Flashlight, candy cadet. There's certainly a lot to process here. We have power again, and now there's noise. How am I making noise? And we have Freddy in the hall, and Freddy there too. Talk about needing a breather. Uh, Joe, there's a frettle thing, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Don, you know, there were instructions out on the menu, right? Does that look like that advice is helping me right now? How do I make it go away? Don, you have a bunch of red indicators going off right now. I understand, but there's a frettle here. Five coins. I don't have five coins. Uh, yeah, put on the mask. That's a good idea, Don. And now Phantom Freddy's here. What do I do? Ah! Stranger danger. Well, Donald is pretty dangerous to be around, but I don't know if I would call him a stranger. I mean, this isn't like any of the other games, and there's no actual guidance on what to do. So, for his first time, this attempt isn't even that bad. Do you know who I am? I'm the world's best security guard, the very best. This adversity will not stop the most gifted man on the face of the earth. Donald, every time you say something like this, you get handed a humble pie with a sprinkle of embarrassment on top. And you think this thing is gonna be the same? Before you know it, we'll have ourselves a winning record in no time, Obama. Take this for your troubles. Wait, we, we get power-ups in this game? Yeah, it's a unique concept that had decent implementation here. And, and Don's just going right in again, isn't he? Of course, I, I'm back in here like swimwear because someone left the doors open. I, and like Lindsay Lohan, I have an addiction to the dopamine that hits my head after injecting myself with winning juice. It was actually powder, but that's still a very interesting comparison there. What's at my door? I heard Fred Bear laugh, is this him? Did you hear that knocking? Whoa! You annoying little Barbie doll. Get off my screen. What is even happening right now? I told you that ultimate custom night can get really chaotic. There's a lot to micromanage, and this is just the first challenge. Don, don't look now, but... Please deposit five coins. Pay up. I don't have five coins, you soy jack bear. The second I do well, this chunk of metal comes around like the IRS expecting a handout. And just like the IRS, he keeps harassing you until he gets his money for the year. I'd pay him if I knew where to get these coins. Stop it! That's what you get for leaving me hanging. Something tells me that we shouldn't have left him hanging, Don. Three coins. I don't need three coins. I need five coins. I'm not trying to play skee ball in the corner of Chuck E. Cheese. I'm fighting for my life. We're not making it out of the hood in this one. All right, Don, so what's your plan here? The prepared and never caught by surprise, Donald Trump has to have something up his sleeve. I'll be honest, I'm like a milkman without the titty juice. And now the whole gang wants to pull up like I'm squatting on O-Block or something. At least you know what to do with some of them. Granted, Fredel is still a challenge, but we'll probably figure that out as we go. Yeah, we don't know how Fredel works. You, however, have the secret vault of information that payday players would break into. You can name, claim, and say anything under the sea, but that's not really going to help us for this night. I also really don't intend to help as much as I've used to. It's time to make that, to that leap of independence for you guys. Just what I wanted to hear, and I'm only at 70% power. You're gonna have to, uh... What is happening?
new problem. A new challenger has appeared. A parrot. What the? Ah! Well, to be fair, that is the longest we've lasted. But on the flip side, we aren't making it anywhere close to 6 a.m. at this rate. Start the game with 102% power. Yeah, that really helps when 30% is getting sucked up like a vacuum cleaner. And you're just jumping right back into the swing of things, huh? You know, typically I see you take a break from these things and then once you collect your strategy, you come back to beat it. No, trust me, this time I got it. Swing and a miss. You know what? I'm big enough of a man to admit when I'm wrong. You take this keyboard, Obama, and I'll take a trip to the bathroom. That kind of surprises me. Actually, that really surprises me. Yeah, to be honest, I was expecting more of a reaction. Ah! But I guess Donald has matured since then. Ah! I bet he has, Joe. I bet he has. Well, uh, best of luck to you, Barack. No hints or help for me either, huh? Can't show favorites here. It's all equal treatment, and I have faith in you regardless. That may be blind faith, Joe. I'm just as clueless as Don is here, although I am trying to piece this puzzle together. Perhaps there's something we're missing. Well, the most important part is that you try your best. So far, you're off to a pretty calm start to the night. While you are right, things could pop off at any moment, so I have to keep my guard up. Just like that. And now I have a whole entourage to deal with. Well. I will remind you that you should keep an eye on your power no matter what. Otherwise, it's going to be a grueling play session. I guess I'm only going to find out by learning the hard way. You're making headway. I shouldn't have spoke too soon. It's this balloon boy thing that killed Don. How do I even get rid of this thing? Ah! Well, it was worth a try, at least. I think you even lasted longer than Don. I guess when you put it like that. Speaking of, where is he? Okay, which one of you liberal losers didn't flush? Maybe he's avoiding coming back so he doesn't have to play any more of the game. What, the world's best security guard? Come on, Joe, don't doubt the man without a plan. If he runs away, we win the argument. And we all know how he hates losing. I suppose you do have a point. Either way, I would just focus on the task you have at hand. Good note, Joe. Why does Candy Cadet just flicker to life like that anyways? The animatronics do get a bit quirky at night. Yeah, I can certainly tell. But I think I'm keeping track of everything for now. Great, now the red warning sign. <laughs> oh! oh, come on. That game was totally rigged. Something tells me that the odds were not in your favor there. If we're failing this much, these might be the longest recordings we'll ever do. Where is Don when you need him? And there's no toilet paper left. Yep, it was Michelle. So you're telling me our cataclysm yesterday wasn't enough and you want us to press on like we just didn't get put on all fours? Yeah, because half of it was spent in the bathroom where you damaged our mirrors in a hissy fit and wasted the toilet paper. Don't blame the toilet paper on me, that was your wife. She wasn't even here, you dope. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's all cool our jets here. It's just the start of the video, and I don't want Donald to explode his pants again. And here Biden comes with the fake news from CNN. I can't even wipe in peace around you people. Well, you're about to get a whole lot of wipes now, because looking at this roster, I don't think we're going to make one rotation around the clock, especially after the last time we tried a challenge. Joe, the Sega cast of Daydreaming, doesn't seem to care about jumping to the hardest difficulty under the worst situations. Fortunately for us, I happen to be the world's best security guard. And here comes the death speed runs. So what's the plan, Donald? Do you still want to run back a challenge after the disaster last week? Do you just think the world's best security guard falls over when there's a bit of wind? Yeah. Well, think again, Joe. Watch and learn. <laughs> <laughs> 0. 0.8 seconds. Donald, at this point, there's no way you're not doing it on purpose. I will give Donald the benefit of the doubt the nightmare puppet needs to be tended to within the second. If not, well, you know what happens. How do I even combat that? I have a split second until I have a long spiny skeleton in my face. Who do they think I am? Jeffrey? Don't say that too loud, Don. What I said last year might become a reality. 
I'm going to ignore that one. But to get rid of the marionette, just make sure the cursor isn't over it for too long. Never thought I'd hear a slender man be scared of peekaboo, but here we are. Oh, so it just fades away when you don't have your cursor on it, huh? Basically, Don's doing a good job, although the puppet is taking a while to leave. Why is it back? Do you not have anything better to do with your miserable afterlife than haunt me? I think the entire difficulty is set to 20, Don. Let's be real here for a second. If they weren't going to haunt us, that means they're afraid of our own skeletons. Not this freaky Slender Man knockoff. How about you spend less time harassing me and more time working on your anorexia problems? I just think it wouldn't be wise to insult the things that are trying to put your head on a trophy rack. But then again, you do you, Donald. Well, something just tried to come down the alley, but I had the hatches battened down. That's not happening today. How has it only been a minute so far? I've lived three eternities already. It doesn't help with Mime Face over here trying to kill us at every foreseeable moment. What is this bird doing? Foxy? It looks like you can get power-ups. That is, if you live... I don't want to hear it. Shut up. Of course, you give me three coins for pooping on the floor. I just feel great now. So what now? Are you going to give us our time in the spotlight? I guess not. We're going to have to see a horrible death. I hate this game. Does that mean it's time for Barack to step in? Yes, he can take over. I have to gouge my sanity out with the needler rifle before my DoorDash gets here. Well, now that I'm back in the same position I always am, I have to ask if there is going to be any reasonable way to get past any of these challenges. Just don't die to Balloon Boy, anything but that. I'd rather get treated like the hooker toy in Toy Story. I will say due to this game's chaoticness, it leaves very little for us to converse about. Either we'll last for a decent amount of time or we'll keep talking about how much we are failures. That's the world in general, but if I can't get the monkey off my back known as Nightmare Marionette, I don't think there's much we can talk about. I know we're getting a paddle swung on us, but where in the world's my DoorDash? Do you not have the app to track it? Pipe down, Molten Freddy, and I am, but this beanbag is just going around in circles. Maybe they're just preparing themselves because you call so much. Sounds like you're just single-handedly funding the delivery industry. He's got to show up. Be a man. I'm calling him right now and demanding him to be here right this very moment. Oh, boy. Have some common decency and at least treat the public service correctly. I think you just mentioned the impossible feat for Donald. Ah! At the cost of your own life, too. It's ringing now. There's no way you're actually doing this. Yo, what up? Where is my DoorDash? Uh, in my car. I know it's in your car. The app already said that. Give me it now. I wouldn't speak to the guy handling your food like that. Don has a special way of communicating. Yeah, no duh. That's what I'm doing. Uh, do you know how stupid you sound? I'm not asking to hang out at a kickback. I'm asking for my food. Bit aggressive there. Man, calm down, Gramps. The only thing that needs to calm down is your oxygen levels, you ugly trinket. This is the typical conversation between Donald and the random citizen unlucky enough to encounter him. Yeah, little bro doesn't know who has his food. All right, I guess I get some free food today. He hung up. Don't quote me, but he was eating your food too. Is he outside? I shot once at civilians, but I'll do it again. Joe, don't worry. I grabbed the gun just in case. Do ye a favor. Oh! Man, we cannot catch a break today. I get cheated out of my food, and Obama here gets cheated out of 2 a.m. And Joe just cheats. I haven't even touched the keyboard, Don. I think you guys are just not doing so hot. I mean, do you know how many times I cut out you guys dying last episode? It might be twice as more this time. It's like a scene from Last of Us, where you just see everybody get taken out. Maybe it would help if we knew what we were doing, Joe. Do you hear that? Yes. You know what? Uh, I take back everything I said to you, Don. Even if you're the world's best security guard, I don't even think Mike Tyson could square off with these creatures. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying now? This is what happens when we live under a tyrannical ruler that does nothing but play horror games in his time when he should be running the country. I guess it's illegal to have fun in the White House. And you define fun as arranging a cornucopia of crap and cocaine to present to us on Christmas? What happened to class? 
Regardless, this is a reason why I don't really want to do custom night for too long. It can get pretty repetitive really fast, and there's nothing really worthwhile when it comes to story. You knew I'd get you eventually. Joe, give me the gun. I'm not going to do that, Don. I get what you mean, though. I, that last attempt right there didn't even scare me. I was just mildly annoyed for having Balloon Boy treat my head like a Q-tip. But you're saying there's nothing remotely close to any story in here at all? Are you serious? You knew I'd get you eventually. It's been 12 seconds. It'd give me at least a tiddlywink of time to look out of the side of my eye or something. Joe, I'm going to repeat my demand that you give me the gun. I am going to repeat my answer. No. I understand how frustrating it is when you keep dying, but we at least have to try a bit more. My advice is that Balloon Boy and Nightmare Marionette will be the toughest ones here for this challenge. And how do we even counter that? While he's sitting down, you can't flash your light at him under any circumstance. However, when he's standing up, you must flash your light at him so that he will sit back down. Uh, how do I do that if there's a frettle forming? Joe, give me the gun. So we're back to get our leg hair feasted on like it's Thanksgiving. Will we make it past the first minute? After all, I don't know with everything treating us like a coughing baby. This is actually one of the more easier difficulties in this game. However, unlike the past game modes, this one will be required to use the vent cameras, just like the third game. Isn't that just fine and dandy? I have Crap Trap the prequel and Crap Trap the sequel after me. It'll most likely be after me because you'll go and cause us seven years of bad luck with the way you handle your anger. Bathroom mirrors are $100, but my mental stability is priceless. It's a good thing I didn't invest in either. So, do you want to handle the kitchen for now, Donald? Well, if Obama does, a chef might die, so it looks like I'm gonna have to. Oh, come on now. Okay, unlike our other attempts, the world's best security guard evaluated his strategy with this challenge and now understands the detrimental path that lays ahead of him. Why are you talking about yourself in third person? I thought I was the only one that noticed that. It's an interesting quirk of his, if I'm being honest. I wanted to mention something, if that was all right, Joe. Oh? Yeah. So you said that, that this had nothing to do with lore, but I looked into the comments, and they said it has a little bit to do with William Afton. So I really don't know what to think right now. I thought we were done with Count Dracula. Well, this is speculated to be almost a purgatory for William Afton after he finally gets sent to the grave. It's practically a punishment for all he's done. So you're telling me that we're actually playing as him in this game? That is the assumption, yes. I believe it's also confirmed somewhere as well, but I can't remember the media in which does that. Of course, we would play as the guy who sounds like he smokes Marlboros like they're peppermint candy. No wonder they're after our hides. How are you calmly managing all of this, Donald? It's quite the opposite from what I saw last time. Shut up, Mangle. I don't need to hear you getting piped down by the Energizer Bunny. I forgot we have to deal with the war of a mini fridge. I'll just wait until the Emmering is done. It's done now, at least. I told you the reason why I'm doing so good is because I'm the world's best security guard, the very best. Kind of also helps to know what he's doing, at least. A very rare occurrence when Donald puffs all the wind into his sails, but it's worked for him so far. It's something, especially because we haven't even gotten to 2 a.m. before we get swallowed and used as toothpicks by our furry friends. How did Springtrap get through? The vent was closed. Well, now I'm dead. He got through the vent? Well, never mind. I'm not gonna let you do your little victory screech. Come back on the court, Springtrap, and this time, let's go for a one-on-one -on -one three-point shot. That's a weird question, but I wouldn't mind seeing that. Front row seats to Donald getting crossed in basketball by a serial mascot. Fighting for your life is one thing, but trying to throw it up in a hoop is a bit of a silly question. You're telling me I'm not balling, Joe? They used to call me LaDon James. Know that you're in the presence of the world's best basketball hooper. Donald, they never called you that. The only time you stepped onto a court was to give speeches about making America great again. That shows you how big of a baller I am. I wasn't even in uniform, and I was scoring points left and right for this country. Someone put me in the Hall of Fame because I'm the man of the game. What does this have to do with you going head to head with Springtrap? What does this have to do with anything? I don't want to be at the forefront of the gut punch when Donald's ego gets the better of him. I would say this is what Exhibit A looks like, but it's not like we were doing any better to begin with. Besides, I wasn't even playing. All I ask is for some momentary solitude, and I can't even get that. 
If it's not Mangle, it's this worthless bucket of Bolt's Balloon Boy that wants to do nothing but nibble on my shin like a prairie dog. I'm surprised you haven't suggested trying to deassemble these machines. I would if I could, trust me. <laughs> Balloon Boy, I really hope William Afton was the worst to you, and I'm being serious. Before Springtrap comes to jump inside my skin, I hope he uses you as a poop pan for his intestines. I don't think Mangle liked that comment very much. Of course she wouldn't. She's a pooper scooper herself. She's the claw machine that grabs the trash cans from the street. I hate all of you guys. Do you hear me? Well, if there's a positive spin to put on this washing cycle, at least we made it past two in the morning. That's something, right? Not even because this stupid toaster doesn't stop his voice box when I jam my foot in his mouth. Where's the tactical nuke when you need it? We knew it was insanity going into it. By the way, female balloon boy is down in the other vent. If the lights didn't... I always come. Wait, he always what? Like I said, the micromanagement skills that are needed for this challenge are not as bad as other challenges. So it's easier to be more successful. I also see that your preparation did you well because you seem more composed this time, Donald. I don't have an option when I have a blitz battle to fight off against the merry-go-round of appliances. My knuckles also hurt from beating glass objects into soul shards. It's incredible that we still have more games after this. This seems like the ultimate testament to our skills. And I might be dead again. Yeah, easier micromanagement skills, Joe. I'd like to see you handle this. What the? Ha! Huh. I guess all that talk about recycling doesn't sit too fond with trash and the gang. Yeah, they tend to do that every now and then. The good thing is that it's just similar to the phantom jump scares. They can't really harm you or anything. It's just basically a hot flash that has you seeing stars. Although, I think there's a basket implant on Donald's face now. How has it only been a single minute? This game is Dave and Buster's mixed with zombies, and somehow we're stuck in the hyperbolic time chamber. I hate this makeshift porta potty restaurant we're in. I wonder how much we would get paid for this if it was available on the market. Certainly, it has to be at least enough to rent out a townhouse or something. We get paid in Little Caesar leftovers and some stale Pepsi that came from a two-liter bottle, and not the good two-liter bottle, the type where the soda seeped near the cap, and it's just dried syrup. How do you even come up with stuff like that on the spot? You're playing a game where you're babysitting angry and vengeful spirits like Ghostbusters, and you can just sit there and make quips. Not without a high prize. Look at his power right now, and it's only 2 a.m. Let's just hope Don is able to reel it back in. That's the thing about this game. Power balance is super difficult. As Balloon Boy is probably laughing at his failures as we speak. Well, if he's laughing like that, he's probably looking at a mockery of what the United States is doing to itself. I just let the interns do what the interns want to do. It's not my job to be their babysitters. I'm here to play horror games. Joe, I think I have to ask this question that comes to mind because it's been so prevalent as of recently, especially when you look at the workload you've been burdened with as of lately. Well, you can't just sit there like we're playing pin the tail on the donkey. I see what you did there. I'll admit that's clever, Joe. Very clever. Thanks. Anyways, what's your question, Barack? With all the work that you did for this channel, all the sleepless nights practically, is it safe to say that you put more work into this channel than your presidency? I understand you're a hard-working man, but sometimes it's easy to see. I would answer it for him. If Balloon Boy would shut up and I'm at 6%, are you serious? You were at 40 just a second ago. Wow, that drains fast. I'm dead, I'm so dead. The parrot? You win some, you lose some. <laughs> Yar, you Why did I die from that? Sometimes. Why does Scott Cawthon have this burning, visceral hatred towards me? He can donate to funds, but has to stop the world's best security guard to win. Sounds like you're giving up after just three tries. Is that right, Don? The world's best security guard never quits. And he just closed the laptop. Time to grease up our oil holes again for how deep we're going to get slammed. So I will mention that even though the last challenge was on the easier side, don't expect the same for this challenge. I didn't count on that, thankfully. Of course, now that we're up, all of my old gravestones are coming back to harass the world's best security guard. Well, look at the bright side, Donald. Your favorite phallic-inducing bird is back. What do you mean by that? He's talking about Toy Chica, Donald. Context clues shouldn't be seen with a magnifying glass. It's been literal months. 
Can't you Democratic donkeys let a single joke slide? I thought the weight jokes would have told you that, Donald. Time to get used to having my heart ripped out of my chest. I know it's self-explanatory by the title, but uh, these are all old animatronics, right? And since Marionette is in the game, we have to wind up the music box, right? I guess I'll have to wait for my question to be answered. And within the matter of 13 seconds, I've been gutted and sautéed like a mahi fish. At least you're not as angry as you used to be. Yeah, because if I get too loud, the microphone might get unplugged and I'll pop my shoe into the laptop screen. We already saw this coming, Joe. But some fans are dubbing the past incident as the mic of 24. Chica's about to make me throw in a sequel to that, by the way. Gentlemen, with all due respect, it would help if you would take a look at what each animatronic does. I thought I wouldn't have to clarify this because Donald says he did research, but I guess I was mistaken. Well, this is catastrophic. No wonder everyone was getting angry in the comments. Don couldn't get past the 15 seconds in a marathon, let alone custom night. You dare question the intelligence of the world's best security guard? I don't need any backseat passengers telling me what to do, thank you very much. Donald, quit stomping around and just go to the menu. Japan doesn't need another earthquake. Go up to Freddy and read off what it says. He approaches from the left hall. Keep track of him on the monitor and shut the door when he is standing on the doorway. He moves faster as the building gets warmer. So you're telling me that you haven't even glanced at the instructions, even when they were right there on the screen? Now that you mention it, I was fairly concerned how he supposedly had a strategy, yet was failing only a few seconds into the night. Can't hear you over the sound of barbed wire being put up between us. No wonder you like to sit on the fence. Is this why I was getting fondled by Chica? If it's not on the shuffle option, she lubes me up like swimwear? Are you kidding me? Donald, this could have been all avoided if you actually paid attention to what you should have been doing. Too much confidence in your strategy that somehow neglected what the animatronics do. No wonder everyone was throwing coffee mugs at us in the comments. We didn't even actually play the game. I'm reading about that now. Just keep quiet and go talk about safety awareness or something. He's not the one I had to take the gun away from. All right. The world's best security guard is ready to go back into the ring once more. You may have heard that before, but let me assure you, I will not allow these creaky coffee makers to spew insults after clapping my cheeks. Listen, as long as you don't unplug anything while you drop kick the mouse pad, then I don't care. I'm trying to minimize the audio issues we have from now on. So is this where you put effort into damage control? The audio issues? Ah, so that's why Kareen is always the one addressing press now when something goes south. Yeah, I have to put my attention and focus into prospects that matter, like playing horror games. I'm sorry, I've got to ask this. Uh, has something seemed off to you guys as of recently? What do you mean? Can't hear you trying to focus. I don't know, I, I just feel like something has been missing recently. Uh, you know that feeling, Joe? I think I know what you're talking about, but be more specific. What feeling? Well, uh, yeah, or do I say it? Like, uh, almost nothing changed at all, yet it changed so much. If you have a nostalgia kick, I can bring back the age jokes and the wife jokes, if that's what you're missing. Looks like Bonnie wants it too, the way he's trying to rub one off on me. I wouldn't really say that. Uh, I just think something's missing. Maybe it's because we rarely cuss anymore, or we also don't include as much political talk as we used to. You want me to mention how Abbott is defending the future of this country, or how DeSantis is a shriveled raisin prune of a man, or how Vivek has finally owned up to the truth? Obama, I'm focused right now. Oh! Well, now that you're not focused, and since Freddie's teabagging your lifeless skeleton, what do you have to say? Since Joe wants to put sanctions on the American people, I guess that leaves me with no choice but to put him in front of a folding chair and karate kick him. What? What? I'm just going to talk for the people that are watching us. Uh, our mics didn't break. They're just oddly doing that. Old people stare at each other. How many Joe Bidens does it take to change a light bulb? How many Donald Trumps does it take to eat a dinner box? How many senile presidents does it take to realize we're staring at a blank screen? What are we even doing right now? You guys remember when I said one joke about Donald and he kicked me in the face like a horse? Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. Going back to what you were saying where something is off, I think political tensions don't really assist in our friendship. Some of these situations can affect thousands of people, good, hardworking people, 
It's natural where there's an off environment. It's on and off. Sometimes I look at Joe as a decent human being. Other times, an, an armadillo curled up in the fetal position looks like more of a president than he does. I don't know if the insult is really necessary there. Well, Balloon Boy is having a hoot at it because he won't shut up. Like that. Where did your hatred for Balloon Boy go? You used to light up like a Roman candle, and now it just seems passive aggressive. After almost getting audited for damage claims, you really doubt my anger issues after losing so many times Obama? It's not even scaring me anymore. It's just making me want to drive my fist the deepest it can go through this port. Well, there's the shouting that I asked for, if you want to call it that. The point still stands that the only thing that changes around us is ourselves, and the perception that we hold is that nothing is as good as the old days. Funny enough, we'll be doing that with these times in the future. That is probably the best answer I could have heard. Not to sound like a Donald or anything, but I'm surprised that there wasn't a vomit of words there. Yeah, because it's my fault I want to determine the legitimacy of what someone is saying and not for it to be mumbo jumbo. I think it might be a combination of large crowds and uh, old age, if you will. Milk starts to expire the second it launches from a cow's udder. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. We need sharp-minded people running this country. Very sharp. Uh, Don, you might want to get that. Way ahead of you, Obama. Remember what I said about being a backseat gamer? Let the world's best security guard work his magic. Thank you very much. I will say that never gets old. That game was totally rigged. The irony, that is, our constant fails are getting old, or rather, Don's constant fails. Listen, I'm the only one trying out of this entire bingo club, and I got someone who wants to work in Whole Foods on one end, an old man that needs help around Whole Foods on the other. Are you frustrated enough that you want to quit or something? This is the same copy-paste story from last few episodes, and I even looked at the descriptions. This game treats my image like it's Little Orphan Annie on O Block. You are really good at not answering the question. I'm not going out like that. There has to be some way to conquer this game. One way or another, I will get through this. That's it, I'm moving to Texas. Well, gentlemen, this will be the last challenge that we face of Ultimate Custom Night, marking an end to our experience with the game. You cannot be for real, Joe. You're telling me that we can get beaten with a belt for four videos straight. You not explain the game mechanics to us, have our audience get miserable of us losing, and then you just want to call it quits? Have you gone mad? Partially mad, yeah. Oh, well then. I didn't expect everything to be cut and dry like that, but all right then. I won't lie. Just seeing Donald recoil every two minutes has gotten a bit frustrating for my sake. Is this really the average custom night experience, or do we just suck? I think everybody expected more out of us due to how we were able to beat the other games so efficiently. But UCN is a different beast entirely, hence why we haven't gotten north of beating this thing. Is that why we're throwing in the towel after failing so much? The big one is that Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 is about to release, and Donald has a hot date with Mommy Longlegs. You are just the worst. You know that you expired Toaster Strudel. Well, that's enough chatting for now. Time to get inches deep into the swampiness we call the hardest difficulty there is. Wait, why is everything checked? So this game mode is undoubtedly the hardest game mode in the franchise. It's called 5020, where every animatronic is set to the hardest difficulty. We'll get to it, world's best security guard. Maybe it is a good idea if you keep the gun away from me, Joe. And here we go. Not even a second into it, and I already have Nightmare Marionette harassing me. Go away! Watch, Barack, it's about to get wild. Exhibit A. He made it farther than I thought he would, so there's something that I can tip my hat to. The music box. I forgot about the music box. And I guess here's the pandemonium. Hits you like a truck. Phantom Freddy. Ah! The pig? I consider it a dignified death. Not really. It was actually quite pathetic. I'm not a vegetarian, Porky. I can cook a mean pork belly dish. Don't test me. Donald, he just emoted on you. I don't think there's any real way to come back from that one. A nice introduction to 5020, getting eaten by the prey you used to prey on. I at least lasted 25 seconds, which would be a personal record, a great personal record for Obama in and out of the bedroom, if I may add. Jeez, you're a creep. I will say that it's only fair for you to give this a wrangle too, Barack. 
I won't ask for many attempts with this game mode sheerly due to the fact that it might not be possible for our age. You need to have a sharp reaction time that we simply do not possess. I'm not going to expect much, but I think I sat on the sidelines enough. Might as well take a couple turns at least. Time to watch a blue bald Barack strut his stuff down the Isle of Misery. You could at least have some confidence in him. Everything is going crazy now. I have no idea how to even counteract any of this. Like, what are we even supposed to do? It might just be pure luck, if I'm being honest. And there's the music, a new challenger. <laughs> Seeing you powerless is like music to me. You're a creepy little thing, aren't you? That has to be what World War III is going to look like. Some flashbangs, head injuries, and social media exposés. All because a Democrat plopped us at an explosion field in the Middle East. Hey, hey watch it. it. Let's give that another shot, Barack. Donald didn't get this craziness right away. Like, why is a wicker basket attacking me? At least the marketable plushie was smiling before he assaulted you. That's something. Like, what's even happening? How did your vocal cords just make that noise? Did you mollywop Austin Powers or something? None of that matters, because I'm not going out like that. A statement you may live to regret because the sweet kiss of death locks onto your breasts. I was following you until the end there. Andy, could you please not do that every five seconds? Asking the impossible, Obama. I would ignore all the internal thoughts telling you to plaster the laptop. Never mind, punch a hole through it. Do not do that. I have way too many unsaved files on here. How many new challengers are there? I thought they were all activated. Are you serious? Seems like you got some really bad RNG on this round, Barack. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Vacuum my finger in my mouth and swirl it around like a Tootsie Pop? Giving the intellectuals on Twitter a new way to foreplay, Obama. Stop while you're ahead. Does this mean you guys are also stopping while you're ahead? With all due respect, I, I might actually go bananas if I try another time, Joe. I've gone bananas so many times at this point, I might as well be a vegan. I figured. Well, even though that might be the end of the gameplay, there's still more to see with this game. Are you crawling inside me right now? It's not over yet? Relax. It's just a couple of cutscenes you get if you end up getting over 700 points. Guess what we didn't do? Just what I wanted to see. A movie to confuse my head more and more with this stinking game. Luckily, they're not lore-related, but they're just nifty extras that the creator decided to add. There's also several different variations of the cut scene, but they're so minimal that we'll just end up watching one of them. Get your popcorn, Donald. Anime. Donald, just because it has well, Japanese well, letters doesn't well, mean it's anime. Never mind, I stand corrected. Is that Freddy? Why is he dressed up in a Cory Kenshin outfit? Just watch the cutscene. So he has beef with the fox, and I'm assuming that it's your favorite character, right? Like I said, just watch the cutscene. Freddy's really trying to Sissy Samurai slice that like button. Can you give it a rest, man? So he's attacking him on this night because it's his birthday and he won't expect it. He won't expect it? He looks like he just ate out a zebra. The gold fangs in his mouth is not the flex that I expected to end off the first month of the year. Oh, gross. Why is there a guest appearance of deviant art here? All this just for some pizza is kind of ridiculous in my opinion.
The playground must be really active for what special sauce we're going to get hit with. I can't tell who's talking. I guess my questions are answering themselves today. Well, of all people to smoke the op pack, it was Freddy himself that was the one running the pockets. And that's why the chain belongs to him. Let me just watch the cutscene. It seems there's still tensions happening in the pizza plex. I say a quick round of ski ball and whack a mole would grill this beef just nicely. Now you're going to want to pay attention to this next cutscene, Don, because it'll surely speak to you. Toy Chica, the high school years? It's like Scott Cawthon knew who he was making this for. Remember Don, high school. Why does she look like that? What are these game developers doing? Whatever you do, just please don't stand up. I don't think it was meant to last. For my heart belongs to another. He's so amazing. Just to clarify, Donald, she's in high school. A confirmed high schooler. Just getting that out there. You would need to say something about kids, Joe. Now shut up before I pack you in a suitcase and feed you to Honduras. He's the only one for me. I just know. Might want to get a picture, Don. It'll last longer. And if you feed me to Honduras, I'll just send you packing to Wisconsin. Look at that top hat. What? That amazing top hat. What? And there's a voice crack. Mind by the end of the day. I just know it. I told him that I needed help with my homework. But once he's there, I'll have him. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. Are you kidding me? There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. Well, beat your heart out, Donald J. Trump. Your girl likes another guy. King of the pizzeria, just as you said. Things didn't work out as I hoped. Wait, what's in her backpack? Is that a hand? Oh, nah, she freaky freaky. From the streets she emerged, and to the streets she returns. It says the end, so it looks like that your honeybee has flown away to another flower. One day you'll stop bringing that up. So this next scene is the last of the game, but it is the most important, and you'll see why. Is the video on, or is it just taking forever? Why is Golden Freddy trying to do the worm to some sad YouTube piano music? This right here is perceived by many as the vengeful spirit of Cassidy, who was William's victim, binding his soul into the eternity of darkness that is custom night. Because for him, this is his purgatory. And she just fades away into the darkness as a constant reminder to him for all the horrible things he did. What about Evan, his own son? Is he not trapped in there too? It's theorized that Evan had already passed peacefully when William is in his purgatory. But now that you mention that, there is one thing that I almost left out. Now be warned, this is pretty disturbing. Can this just end already? Uh, what am I looking at here? Oh wow, what is that horrible sound? Did we just take a dip into the deep web? This is like an 8-bit nightmare, what am I looking at? Do you remember the fishing game that would pop up every now and then while you were playing Custom Night? Well, it looks like we're in his world now. This is mortifying. I feel like I'm being licked all around my body by a cat's tongue. Come and sit with me a while. Sir, I'm in a world surrounded by stomach cramps. I... Leave the demon to his demons, rest your soul. There is nothing else. So the last thing I want to go over now is what happens when you speed up the audio. You might want to prepare yourself. Is that screaming? was that. That right there was William Afton screaming for help to Michael and Henry. Not that he expected help, but because he didn't know anybody else to scream to. Let's move on to the next game. I'll just stick to the Toy Chica jokes for now.
It's Donald Trump here wanting to thank all of our members for supporting us. We can't thank you enough. If you would like to become a member and see exclusive content, click the link in the description.